Hello everyone and welcome back to the Rim World. All looks peaceful and in harmony at the moment until you go over here. Yep. We're being attacked by one of the tribes and it looks like they brought friends. He's called Lex. Hello Lex. What's happening here? A military commissar from the village of the Crag is passing by. His name Lex. Yes, we know. Thank you for telling us. So, right, let's get organized for a fight, shall we? Let's grab everyone. Oh, he's a prisoner, actually. So let's grab everyone other than him. And draft. If your friends hadn't uh, blown the place up, you'd be able to feed yourself. But you can't now, so good luck. There are so many people in that tribe, this is actually starting to lag this game. Okay, let's start looking at you guys and putting you in suitable places. Okay, you have got an LMG. I want you to go there, please. You've got an M16. You can go there. Oh, you've got a very good weapon, actually, haven't you? You can go there. Jono um, let's put you up here get you guys out of the way there we go um, you have an M24 so you can go down the bottom likewise Tigris you go there John, you've got a good gun there, so you go here. Raven, you've got a rather nasty gun, to be honest with you. So you go at the top there. Barrow. Go there. Let's get you guys out of the way. Tara, a little bit late to the party, I see, but you've got a good gun. There. Where shall I put you? I'm going to put you here. That way, if anyone breaks through, you've got a good... Um, uh, line of sight that's the word I'm looking for where are they at the moment still got a bit of time Ichabod Leamfield and Camaro M16 you can go up here as well I've noticed that they come in and they go this way so if we put our people here and not here then they are better defended and they got a better chance of fighting you've got an m16 you can go there you got an uzi at the top here uh, is there anyone anyone else left i think that's pretty much everyone isn't it okay that's uh parodies down let's parodies up And let's see how it goes. Right. Right, Perry's got something to eat before the fight, so hopefully he'll be alright. We didn't get much done in here, but we got a few doors put in and that's oh we got all the doors well, most of the doors put in. That's going to slow them down and annoy them a little bit, but it would have been better if we'd had the, the, the sandbags to slow them down as well. But as you can see, with all of them there, these doors are not lasting very long. In fact, these guys happen to queue. Alright, well, perhaps we'll get this rebuilt. It depends on how. <laughs> how much of this gets destroyed in this attack oh they decided just to wait there actually hmm I'm wondering if there's so many people here that the AI controller can't cope with them all but that works for me yeah this oh here they come A couple of them are breaking on. Oh, a lot of them are. Redfields. Redfields once again. Oh, there goes our first one. 
Let's go to the rest of them. Right, John. Mm. Move back here. You move back there. Riesling. Oh, you get away there from before you get blown up. More of fleeing than trying to attack. John, no! Oh, that's such a shame. You're such a good cook as well. Oh, dear. You guys are just going to shoot each other like that. There, we've broken the back of them. Kamaro, you're a bit wounded. You pull back for a moment now, mate. And they're fleeing. Okay, they left a bit of a mess, but once again, we have survived. And that is the most important bit. There. That's the last of them. So draft everyone. Let's put these lights back on. Let's get on with our lives. So we've got a bit of rebuilding here to do. But that's nothing unusual. The annoying bit is we've got 700 of these to sell again. Well, I suppose there are worse problems really, aren't there? Okay, let's uh, allow this stuff. Personally, I find these tribes people attacks really, really annoying. Mental break soon. Reasoning Kamaro. Reasoning's resting. And where's Kamaro? Kamaro, the shaman. You're resting as well. I'm presuming that's... Yeah, you will be alright. You will be okay. Alright, let's have a quick look here. And we need to do a, a decent burial for John as well. Uh, Pan, if... I think um, we can't leave you with your gear. But let's get you into a grave there. That's our third colonist we've lost. Such a shame. Such a good colonist as well. You've got a good weapon. You've got a good weapon. You have, but you, actually, you've got a terrible weapon. So have a, an LMG. There we go. Let's get these the remains of these guns turned off. There we go. Turn those off so they're no longer draining power. All right, we've got to rebuild this again, but no great loss, no great loss. So let's just lay that out quickly. Getting good at this now. I think this is a chance to talk about, think about this design a little bit. I mean, it's working really well because we haven't lost many colonists. All right, we've lost the third colonist. That's utterly terrible. And but you know, I've played this game when it's just been a complete and utter butchery. Yeah. Perez, what state are you in? Mental break soon. Roger, what's that? Why are you in such a? Um, can't be helped, I'm afraid. What are you doing? You're building a wood door. You'll be coming back in a little bit. Alright. There we go. Go and do something more fun. Uh, Meritrix is disposing of the corpses. Don't need to strip them because we've got no use for this tribal wear at all. Once these walls are put back in, we'll start building the turrets again. We've got plenty of metal. That is not a problem. Oh, we actually, we're getting a really good chance of recruiting Paris, so we'll probably see them by the end of the episode. Mm. 
Oh, well, it wasn't a great thing to happen, but not the end of the world either. Uh, that'll come back up in a little bit. Combat supplier. Haven't hauled much yet, but we'll see what they've got to sell. Sorry, Barrow, I've got a job for you. Oh, Jennifer Rutterbag. Oh, that Jennifer Rutterbag. Oh, dear. Get that rebuilt. Oh, actually, that needs to be metal. And we need a power, a power conduit. Actually, I'll tell you what. As we're rebuilding all this, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that, because I don't like either of them. And we shall build stone walls there. Oh, we need to get that cleared first. I've never liked the way that uh, colonists can walk through here. Uh, weapons. Pistol, pilot, M16. We'll buy the M16. And I think we're getting a few weapons built up here. So let's sell an Uzi, a pistol, a pistol. And a pistol. Yeah, we'll keep the rest. Excellent, that's power getting back to normal. Right, they've dismantled those, they're good at that, so let's get that in there, that in there. means people have to go all the way around here to get out but I don't particularly want people to come in here unless we're in this situation when we're rebuilding this stuff okay there's a bit of wall needed there and you put some of these doors back in there yeah this Uh, we need a bit of wall there. There, food trader. Don't need a food trader. Uh, yeah, apologies, guys. You must have seen this happen so many times now, us having to rebuild this area. But it's absolutely, absolutely essential. I'm afraid we've got plenty of wood now. That's excellent. Our food is picking up. All right, so let's get Bill put in here. Add Bill, cook. Simple meal. Do until you have nine. Okay, and this one will carry on doing simple meals until we get to 18. Uh, Perez, what sort of cook are you? Uh, character. Right, you're terrible at cooking. Let's have a quick look. Do we have anyone who's good at cooking? Four, three, no. I'll take a five. No, everybody is invariably terrible at cooking. We know one person can't do it, so Tigress, I'm afraid you're going to have to start cooking again. Um, that gets you out of repairing, mind. But you're a good grower. No, I can't have you. Uh, let's go down here, Camaro. Yeah, Camaro. I think let's have a quick look at you. Actually, Are you any interest in cooking whatsoever? No. Let's find someone who is actually at least vaguely interested in cooking. Raven. Raven Vieira. A loner. And a cooker. What are we doing you with you, Raven? You're a hauler. Well, you're off that. And you're no longer doing the repairing. Um, but what you are doing is the cooking. You've got a terrible cooking skill but your experience will pick up. 
So there we go, we now have a second cook. Unfortunately we do need to recruit a person or two because we're we've lost someone recently. Tara, let's just check your cooking skill. Your cooking skill is nine. Can you Yes, it would appear you can cook fine meals. Okay, so let's do it that way. Yep, you can cook fine meals. Excellent. How's our rebuilding efforts going? Ah, chugging along. I think these guys are just getting so used to doing this now. Let's get some turrets in. But I, what I'm thinking is, between this and the next episode, I think we're going to sit down and have a good think, because these defences are good. But we're spending so much in the way of resources rebuilding them every time. And time rebuilding them every time. That uh, this is just becoming detrimental to us achieving our goal of getting the smurf out of here. Uh, into the... Yes, turret. Don't want to put the mortar here. Ah, we've already got blueprints there. Yes, we've already got blueprints there. Right. But, yeah, it looks like we're back to normal. Barrow's making us some metal there. Good chap. Yep, yeah, that's that area sorted out. Um, I think let's put a couple of uh, bits to build. Yeah, this is nearly done. Let's put a couple of bits to build. First thing I want to put on is I want to put a bit of ship on to build. Let's put a bit of stru structural beam in place. It's actually relatively cheap to make as these things go. 800 metal. We've got 4,000. We should be alright for that. Oh, big lag. Another? Oh, good lord. Oh, you are taking the mickey, aren't you? I haven't even had a chance to rebuild. Right, this one. This one's not going to be good. This one is not going to be good at all. This one we could actually come second at. Let's see how we're doing. Let's draft everyone. But they really don't like us anymore, do they? And we are getting so many of these people coming up here that they're actually lagging the game out now when they, uh, they're loaded. We've only got a few of our turrets in place. Uh, let's turn on what we do have. <sighs> Raven, you've got a good gun. Down there. I'm actually a little bit depressed about this, to be totally honest with you. I think I'm seeing the end of this colony. I don't have a good feeling about this. Um, Ichabod, you're in such a bad shape. I actually think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull you back here. You can stay here for this fight. Sam, you're relatively good state. So you can go up here. Gumpy. You are our only hope. Barrow down here. Alright, Jono, you got a good gun. I want you to go there. Because they are going to come through here. And we need to mount a defence down this part, this wall as well. Uh, Pan. For the same reason, you can go there. Tigris. You go behind these trees here. That will give you a bit of cover. Okay... KK, you go there. Tara, alright. 
there. Meritrix. I'm sick and tired of seeing you hold that Uzi. Equip the LMG. Roger. There, please. The sounds of it, yeah, they're already starting to break. Will you look at that? That is just silly. I've, well, fortunately, they've got to go all the way around here. We still didn't have time to get the. Ah, uh... oh, dear. Never oh, mind. This is so lagging, this game out. It's ridiculous. Uh, all right. Okay, Meritrix. Now you've got a halfway decent gun. Where shall I put you? I think I'm going to put you there. You see? Now there's so many that they just go through those uh, wooden doors without stopping. Stone doors would be nice. And here comes the second lot. Grumpy, we need to pull you back so you don't get killed in the explosion. We've already lost one of our original colonists. At the moment, these uh, these turrets are actually acting more like blasting charges than anything else. Sam, um, yeah, you're getting hurt, aren't you, man? Back here, please. How are we doing over here? We're doing. So, um, actually, I think I want you all the way out of here now. Uh, Roger, you're just going to have to. No, we can't, can we? Uh, Gumpy, rescue him. You two, get away from that turret. That's not the way enough. You go down here. There we go. Rescue Raven, please. Yeah, they're fleeing. Excellent. Alright, come on. Well, I was really worried we were going to lose there. So, as fights go, we won. I'm happy. <laughs> I sound so happy, don't I? <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, all right, you guys. Let's undraft you all. Get on with your life. And let's go through this dance again. I, w I would rather lose turrets than colonists. We've got plenty of metal. It's just this is putting such a, a halt on us advancing because it appears every 10 minutes we've got to redo this stuff again. Which is. Uh, where the hell did you come from? Kidnapping Raven. Where is Raven? Well, I wish you good luck with that, mate. I wish you good luck with that. Right, K. Go there. Ichabod. Thank you very much for blocking off these uh, turrets.
you guys get turned on again. Tigress and Jono. Let's just melee attack him now. Let's actually see if we can take him alive because, let's face it, that much stupidity is worth saving. Sun draft you guys, you're not needed anymore, and let's turn these things off. He is so eager! Look at him! Oh man! I just. <laughs> I half wish we could have saved him, to be totally honest with you. But never mind. Oh, there's another one. Kidnapping Roger. Uh, you're wounded. What else we got here? Meritrix, you'll do. Amazing. Utterly amazing. Right, let's get this stuff rebuilt while that drama's happening. And... If we ever get this stuff rebuilt for long enough, we'll look at re um, improving our defences somewhat. Whew. What on earth are you doing, man? What on earth were you doing? Oh, man. Well, good work, guys. Back to work. Mm, all right. <laughs> the AI in this game is so much a local boot. Oh, okay, well, I really don't care about a local boom rat. Let's just turn one of these guns on. I'll take him out. <sighs> Let's just get this rebuilt. Or perhaps they won't. Yeah, don't let him in. I said don't let him in. Said don't let him in. There we go. Now, you guys put the fire out. And the boom rack can go in the pot. <laughs> okay. Alright guys, I think I'm going to leave it there. Ah, oh dear. That's been an interesting episode, I think. Um, I was a bit dubious about whether we were going to survive that one. We survived it. We successfully recruited Perez. Okay, well, it's perhaps not going to be the last thing I do today, then. All right. So, that to one, that to one. Seven, four... Five. So actually, Paris, you've got a better social than everyone else. So you can do that. Jono is now off of wardening. So we need a, another top job for you. Um, we've got enough people growing. I don't think we've got enough people constructing. So would you concentrate on construction for me? I know you're not very good at it, but uh, you'll get better. Okay, so this will all go to threes. I think we've still got a little bit left to research, so I think we're actually going to make you a research uh, person for now. Um, like that. And 
Yeah, so there we go. All right, so you are a warden. You do the research, and if there's nothing else to research, you will go and do some hauling. I think that's probably going to be good for you. All right, let's have a quick look through here. Colony wealth, 60,453. Uh, most of that is in items. We have taken 411,847 points of damage. We've only lost two colonists. We've had 19 enemy raids and 22 major threats, which makes me think we have three filled graves here. So we have we have Jono the Huntsman, who's been dead for 5.7 days. We have Galga the Weaver, who's been dead for 78 days. And we have a Muffalo. <sighs> All right, okay, right. You don't allow animal corpses. Don't allow buried corpses. We've actually got nowhere to put that, have we? Right, last thing today is a dumping stockpile. And I think what we're going to do is we're just going to chuck some stuff in the gap between these walls here for now. Don't care. A quick dumping stockpile. It'll be quickly filled with t-shirts and muffalo corpses. Alright. Okay. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I think I'm going to call that an episode. Thank you very much, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this. This has been the Rim World. I've been Simon Parsons. Thank you. And good night. Good night. <laughs>